Temps are going to come down, but it, but it's not going to like get cold, right? I mean, it's not going to be cold. So to put this in perspective, yeah. though, the biggest difference and the reason that this is going to feel so dramatic is because we had high temperatures that right. are in the 80s, right. and in a matter right. of about 10 to 15 minutes, when this thing comes through, it's going to drop temperatures by about 15 to 20 degrees. That's what's Fast. coined. Yes. So that's what's coined as a pneumonia front. It's kind of when you're caught off guard uh, by those mm -hmm. drastically falling temperatures. And actually, I did just see a stat that Waukegan dropped 15 degrees in 10 minutes as soon as the winds shifted. So again, drastic drop in temperatures on the way as we go throughout this evening. High temperatures today, we made it into the upper 70s and lower 80s, and many locations are still enjoying those nice warm temperatures. But here's what I want you to pay attention to on this map. You see how the winds are shifting and moving from the north to the south along Lake Michigan, and that's beginning to push inland. That's where our pneumonia front is, and it's going to continue to drop to the south, pushing through Chicagoland, and dropping those temperatures. So right now, we are down to 58 degrees in Waukegan, but we're still holding steady at 81 degrees at O'Hare, 65 degrees at the lakefront. But just before I was coming on TV here, we were watching one of the cameras and it really started shaking a lot. So we're getting those really gusty winds right at the lakefront right now. So we're likely going to start to see those really cold temperatures. I shouldn't say really cold. We're dropping down into the 50s. But again, drastic jump from where we are right now. Over the next couple of minutes, we're likely going to start to feel that in downtown Chicago. And then that colder air is just going to continue to sink southward throughout the area. Now, over the next few hours, again, big drop in temps. And then we're just going to be spending the evening hours, likely in the 50s. And then eventually we'll drop down into the upper 40s for our overnight low and normal low temperature for this time of the year is right around 50 or 51 degrees. So we're actually not going to be too far off from that. You see this thin band of what looks to be cloud cover right here. This is actually smoke from the wildfires. So as this continues to drop to the south too, we might actually get a really pretty sunset tonight because of that smoke up in the air. So it could be one of those red hazy sunsets tonight. Future cast rolling us through the next few hours. There goes our front. The skies are going to clear back out. We'll have nice sunny conditions when we wake up tomorrow. So sunshine on Wednesday temperature though we are going to stay cooler. We'll have that flow right off of Lake Michigan again, and that's going to hold temperatures only in the lower 60s for our highs on Wednesday. Then on Thursday, things look fine. We're seeing those winds turning more southerly. That's going to help to boost our temperatures, but then we start to see some showers and thunderstorms Thursday night that will linger into Friday. For tonight, 47 degrees. We'll have gusty winds out of the north northeast. The seven day forecast tomorrow, we're in the 60s, but we are right back up to the 70s again by Thursday with plenty of sun. Showers, maybe a rumble of thunder Thursday night into Friday, but high temperatures looking good as we're going into this upcoming weekend. We are sunny with a high of 70 on Saturday and 74 on Sunday. Corey. Emily, thank you.